Welcome to Storytime Online from the Fleurville Public Library. Today we're going to talk about Valentine's Day because it's coming up soon. Let's start with our Get to Know You song. Remember, we use sign language with this song, so we're going to do more together, happy, and friends. Oh, the more we get together, 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 oh, the more we get together the happier we'll be cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends oh the more we get together the happier we'll be oh the more we get together 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 oh the more we get together the happier we'll be Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, friends, our first story today is Bloom by Deborah Dyson and pictures by Mary Lundquist. And we're reading this today with the kind permission of Macmillan Kids Press. Ooh. Do you remember when we planted those flower bulbs together? One of us dug the holes while the other laughed at the bulbs funny shapes and crinkly skins. Together we dropped the bulbs one by one into their growing spots. We held clumps of dirt in our palms and mashed them up just to feel the rhythm of the bumpy soil in our hands. We covered the holes with dirt. We spread the dirt evenly. The wind made the tree leaves dance and one of us chased a beautiful orange leaf all across the yard. The other one watched and then joined in too, running through the rays of warm sunshine. When we looked at the garden we planted, and thought about those bulbs, both of us secretly wondered how something so small could ever possibly grow big and tall. Could ever possibly bloom. In all the time that's passed since then, the doors we've walked through, the celebrations, the big trip we took, and even the time that we cried. So much has happened that I'd almost forgotten about the garden we planted. But the bulbs did not forget. Their roots pushed deep. Their stems grew strong. They heard the call of the sun. They decided how to answer. They grew steadily, surely. Day by day, each day bit bigger, stronger as certain as love. And now from those tiny little bulbs, the ones that we planted together so long ago, just look at what has grown. The end. All right, friends, now we're gonna sing a Valentine's song to the tune of Bingo. If you remember bingo but we're gonna sing heart all right remember we're gonna clap each time we take away a letter there is a shape and it means love and heart is its name oh h-e-a-r-t 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 and heart is its name oh there is a shape and it means love and heart is its name oh E A R T E A R T E A R T and heart is its name O. There is a shape and it means love and heart is its name O. A R T A R T A R T and heart is its name O. There is a shape and it means love and heart is its name O. RT, RT, RT and heart is its name, oh. 
There is a shape and it means love and heart is its name. Oh. T. T. T and heart is its name. Oh, there is a shape and it means love and heart is its name. Oh. And heart is its name. Oh, I hope you kept up with the claps better than I did, friends. All right, friends, have you ever made a heart with your hands? I put my hands together. This is how I start. I curve my fingers right around and I can make a heart. Make a heart. Just like that. All right, friends, our next story is called Love Monster by Rachel Bright. And we're reading this with the kind permission of Macmillan's Kids Press. This is a monster. Hello, monster. I think you'll agree. He's a little bit funny looking to say the least. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things. This is the official pile of extreme cuteness, which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. You might have noticed that everybody loves kittens and puppies and bunnies. You know, cute, fluffy things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly-eyed monster. Poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps. But not being the moping around sort, he decided to set out and look for someone who'd love him just the way he was. He looked high, he looked low. He looked middle-ish. He looked inside and outside. More than once he thought that maybe, just maybe, he'd found what he was looking for. But as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. And then it didn't go so well some more. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact, that it began to get dark and scary and, well, not very nice. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up and go home. But in the blink of a googly eye, Everything changed. <gasps> you see, sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you. The end. All right, friends, if you registered for a story time craft or picked up a story time craft this month, uh, I don't think we're doing registration anymore. I think it's first come, first serve. Then what you're going to make today is the heart I love you sign in American Sign Language. So you're going to get your white piece of cardstock and your pink paper and your hearts. You'll trace your hand on the pink paper and then glue down the fingers to make I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. And now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. On another day. Goodbye, friends. <laughs>